It's Will with Cigar Coop, and this morning I'm taking a smoke of the Paul Gamerian Symphony 20 Salamonis. Um, this is a cigar that's been rated highly by um, a few of my Stogie Geeks colleagues. Um, most notably, uh, Stogie Santa has been telling me over the past few weeks this is a cigar. Not only did he want to have me smoke, but he wanted to have me actually see me smoke this. So um, we're going to put this little video together just for you, Stogie Santa. Um, so you can see this cigar in action. I'm looking forward to cutting and lighting this one up, and um, we'll begin the process uh, momentarily. So we're back. I'm actually uh, doing a dry draw on the uh, Symphony 20 Salamonis by Paul Gamarian. Um, so far, very nice pre-light draw. It got some um, nice notes of wood. I'm getting a little hint of cedar in the background, a little bit of a... Um, kind of a uh, nutty taste and a little caramel there. So overall, very good pre-light draw. It's going very nicely. You know, so far, a nice appetizer for the uh, actual smoking experience. So um, I'm going to fire up this guy right now and toast the foot, and we'll see um, how this thing actually is going to smoke. So this is a beautiful Salamonis, actually. Uh, very impressive. I, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the Salamonis Vitola, but um, the fact that my colleagues actually have highly rated this um, says a lot for me. So, uh, Stogie Santa, you're getting to see a sort of a live recording, so to speak, of me actually smoking this cigar. This one's just for you, buddy. Very smooth right off the gate. I'm not going to overpower you with a, a pepper bomb by any means, but it's very smooth, almost a creaminess to it. Um, very nice, a little bit of cedar in the background, too, kind of just balancing that off nicely. Even the, 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 the retro hail has got a little toast on it as well. Uh, so far, very, very nice start to the uh, Symphony 20 Salamonis. And what I'll do is um, I'll kind of sit back here, enjoy this for a little bit, and then we'll kind of um, check back in in a few minutes as far as how this thing is smoking. So I'm back and really enjoying my Salamonis here. Um, Outstanding so far. Um, flavors, flavors picked up a bit, so now it's more on the nutty side. Um, the cedar spice has become a little more peppery right now. Uh, I'm going to do a slight little touch up here, but so far the burn for the most part has been pretty good. This may be more, I would say, uh, user error. I'm kind of enjoying the smoke a lot and uh, probably just savoring the flavors a lot, but so far doing very good. Um, again, it's, it's turned more nutty, a little more peppery. And uh, really kind of uh, doing a great job so far. So it's off to a wonderful uh, start to the races here with the uh, Symphony 20 Salamonis. And uh, I'll come back in and we'll check a little while and see how this cigar uh, continues to perform. And I'm back. Um, the uh, Symphony 20 is still doing a great job here. Um, the ash is forming a nice little cone on the... Uh, the uh, the footer of this cigar, I don't look at that as a bad thing, actually. I think the cone thing on a Salamon is actually an indication so far it's holding pretty firm. Kind of a salt and pepper ash. Um, again, the nutty, peppery kind of profile. I'm getting some grass notes in the background. It's definitely um, having um, that Dominican feel, a little bit of a Hanky Kellner feel to that. Um, so overall doing really well. Um, performing well. Um, that's for you, Stogie Santa. If you notice, this cigar is going to produce an abundance of smoke as you smoke it. I just love it. It's just the aromas are wonderful as you kind of get them through the uh, nasal passages. The retro hell just has a toasty pepper to it that's just uh, out of this world so far. So. Overall, it's it's really living up to uh, what I expect. Armenian uh, cigars are Dominican for the most part. We don't know the details of the blend here, but um, it's definitely got a Dominican uh, feel to it as a cigar. Uh, but so far, uh, hitting on all cylinders here, um, and we'll check back in in a little bit. So 
still in back here. And um, Salomone's still burning really good. Um, this has been truly uh, minimal types of touch-ups, if anything. Um, really impressed with the burn. I'm really impressed with the way this cigar is drawing as well. Um, still the same flavor profile. Not much of a change. Uh, that, that toasted, nutty, uh, peppery, some grass notes and some cream in the background. Um, really making it a, a real good cigar. This, 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 um, this, while it's not transitioning a lot now, it's... Um, a lot of good nuances in the flavor, so you're, you're picking up a lot there. Uh, Retro Hale is still the toasted spice. I'd say the uh, strength of the cigar right now is on medium, and I, I don't know if it's going to amp up a little. It's giving me the impression it might. Um, the flavors are probably on the upper end of medium, and I think they're going to go medium to full as um, this cigar goes. So I take medium, medium right now. Um, let's wait and see how this uh, progresses throughout the uh, cigar experience. So. Um, checking it out, I'll get ready to ash in a little bit and we'll uh, kind of give an update in a little while. So I'm back. Um, I've already ashed this thing once and it's still burning real good. Um, the flavors have definitely progressed into that medium to full bodied range. So it did happen. The strength still, I'd say, is in the medium. Um, the spice has also picked up a little more. And the spice may actually now start, it's starting to become more of a primary flavor here at this point, but. I'm still getting all the other good flavors um, that this cigar um, had been giving me right up until, and we're getting, you know, to the latter part of the first third. So, um, actually, the recording date, just to you know, of this video is actually August 29th. Um, I want to mention this because I know my buddy Big Mike's going to bust my balls over this video. So, uh, hey, Mike, if you're going to bust my balls, um, I expect to have a video out there by August 29th. Um, don't wait a week. Uh, bust my balls right away and uh, be sure to promote the website. He's going to kill me after he sees this, uh, so I may not live to see the actual final video. Take care, buddy. And um, anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. So I'm back. Um, the cigar is still performing really, really good. We're getting into the second third of this right now. I've eased up on the drawer a little bit. Um, with Salamones, if you tend to overdraw them, it's my experience they can burn hot real easy. And while there's no indications or there's no... There's no definite signs it's burning hot. I kind of get that feel if I draw this hard, it's going to um, it's gonna start to get hot in the middle. So I'm um, just kind of easing up on the drawer and savoring the flavors a, a little bit as well. Um, overall, it's performing um, really well. Actually, there's a little bit of a bready component that I'm getting in the background um, too. So I think that grass note's kind of transitioned to a bready note, but still that nutty spice up front. The spice is still, it's leveled up again after that increase I got. Um, and overall, just, just, uh, this is a stellar smoke, uh, Stogie Santa does not let me down, and, um, you know, he's right on the money again with this thing, I can't see, uh, this is, this is just a, a wonderful smoke here, I'm just, I'm enjoying this a lot right now, so, um, I'm gonna get back to smoking this, um, and we'll check in in a little bit. And I'm back, and I'm getting to about the midway point, I'm getting ready to pull off the secondary band performing outstanding um, kind of same message going forward uh, my Stogie Geeks colleagues really didn't let me down as far as the uh, ash on this thing goes excuse me as far as the cigar goes um, not just the ash the overall experience is is absolutely great uh, pepper has amped up a little more um, still holding in the medium strength uh, medium to full body range um, Pepper kind of started to overtake the nut a bit, but it's not an overwhelming pepper bomb. Um, but the pepper is definitely picking up as we hit the wide point of the Salamone here. So I'm guessing there's something in the filler here that's kind of kicking in right now. But I'm, I'm enjoying this uh, immensely. Um, this, is, uh, this, is, this is one of the best Salamones I've smoked in a long time. And, you know, I've kind of always been a little negative on the website on Salamones. I, um, but... But no gimmick here. This blend just seems to work well here, and um, it, it's a it's just a, it's just a great smoke overall. Um, and uh, I'm just immensely enjoying this cigar as we talk. So um, again, uh, it's getting um, high praise from me right now, and uh, we'll give Stogie Santa another view of me smoking uh, before we check in a little later. Getting into the uh, what Stogie Santa terms the back nine of this cigar right now, and um, 
still performing as is. Um, no, no real changes. Um, overall, this cigar is just, uh, it's getting to a point right now where I think I'm ready to kind of issue the challenge to Chuck Norris in terms of if I'm going to fight him for a box for these or not. Um, really, really good cigar. Um, definitely, this is my first time I've had the line, so this is my introduction to the Symphony uh, for the first time, period. So, um, but this is really impressing me in the Salomon. I'm actually curious to see how some of the others uh, smoke in these. Um, but overall, real good. Um, there was a little point uh, during the cigar um, when I pulled off the secondary band, I, I pulled a tiny piece of wrapper off, but the burn is still, as you can see, uh, the sec that secondary band, excuse me, um, it's burning great. It didn't, uh, the little tear really didn't have any impact on, on things. Um, but overall, just a real good cigar, and enjoying it immensely. The the back mine continues to perform real well here. Um, the flavors have amped up a little more. Um, they're they're in the full bodied range right now. Um, Retro hail is really the key thing I think on this particular cigar. Um, you'll really get that symphony of flavors. Um, the retro hail's changed immensely. It started out, you know, a little more creamier spice at the beginning. Now it's more of a sharp spice on that retro hell. Um, you'll feel it, and um, it's overall real good as far as, um, you know, getting that total experience on the tongue and, and through the nasal passages. So it's, it's that two-dimensional type of smoke that um, you get um, when, you, when you kind of retro hell it. So overall, uh, performing real well. I'm getting towards the end of this right now. Um, not disappointed one bit and um, immensely enjoying it. So uh, we'll kind of check back in and kind of start to wrap things up in a little bit. So I'm um, wrapping up. This is the final cut we'll do of this. Um, I'm at the end of the uh, Paul Gamerian uh, Symphony uh, 20 and um, overall really enjoyed this cigar from start to finish. Um, it is definitely right now a 4.5 on the Stogie Geek scale in my book. Um, Chuck Norris uh, definitely is going to have a fight for him for a box of these. And um, overall, uh, no disappointment. Top Salomon in my book. Um, really impressed with this blend overall. And um, it's just uh, Stogie Santa once again read my mind. And he, uh, he, I guess he kind of has that ESP and he knows me. Uh, so, thank you, Stogie Santa, for your generosity and uh, allowing me to smoke this cigar. It was a true privilege. And um, take care, and I'm signing off right now.